be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Be Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm gonna be going over three simple ways, or tips actually, to making trap drums, okay? It's three simple steps to making trap drums in Logic Pro 10. Three steps to making trap drums in Logic Pro 10. I had to kind of get that intro together. But anyway, let's jump in. I got this uh, sample here that I manipulated and things of that nature. I'll let you hear that. And then I'm gonna go over the three steps to making trap beats in Logic Pro 10. Let's check it out. All right, cool. So the first step is always going to be to lay down a snare or a clap. Um, in Logic Pro 10, it's pretty simple to do that. I would highly recommend going over here to your editor and then scrolling over to Step Sequencer. All right, now, basically I have um, my drums already laid out here, but basically what I did is I went over here to a MIDI track software instrument, um, under instrument went to a quick sampler, and then literally just dragged and dropped a sound right here and then I can come over here to default, save as, and then I have my drum sounds, okay? So that's how I got the sounds in here, but basically I had a snare. And uh, again, the quickest way to lay this down is gonna be to go to the step sequencer and then dead center right here, you hit that, literally it's gonna give you a snare pattern. And then you can push command R. So that's the first uh, step is to lay down a snare. You can come over here and uh, go to the steps. Instead of 16 steps, you can go to 64 and add some variation. So like say if you wanna do some stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? And then you have some variation to it. Anyway, after you lay down your snare, the next thing I would recommend doing is going straight to your percussion. This is going to be like your hi-hats, open hi-hats, different things like that. So we're going to stay within the uh, step sequencer to do that. This is going to be a super easy way to do it. Again, I already have like hi-hats and stuff like that saved in here, so we don't have to go and find them. But I'm going to go to step sequencer, and we're going to start off by just doing every other one. So if you want to add some variation though, you go to the 60, uh, 16 steps and go to 64. And then this, this is where we're going to get a little bit more detail. If you scroll over here, there's an arrow to the far left. Click that, it's going to give you a drop down. And now you can change up some things here. So we can go with velocity. Instead of gate, I'll go with note. And instead of tie, I'll go with repeat. And now we can add some variation. Let's check it out. So right here, I'm gonna do um, a little repeat action. If you click on it and move up, it's gonna make a fine tune repeat or move down, it's gonna make like, um, you know, more basic repeat. See what I'm saying? And then I can come over here again. It's also, like I said, I had this note option here. I can take some of these down. Just randomly. Now let's check out the pattern. And of course we can just double that by pushing command R. And if you want, you can add some variation there. Okay, so we got our um, percussion. I'll also throw in an open hi-hat. 
This one I'm gonna play manually, so I'm gonna push Command K to put up the musical typing, or you can use your musical uh, your uh, MIDI keyboard. And as you saw here, I kind of played like long and short notes, kind of gave us a little bit of variation. And you, for percussion, you can also add like rim shots or like little block sounds. And then you can come over here and fix that by going and clicking in the, the grid, command A, and we'll go one over 16. You can layer it as well. I'll take this and layer it with a clap. And then step three is just go ahead and lay down your kick in your 808. So for the kick, I could play it manually or we can use the step sequencer. I usually go to 32 steps. Then you can go to 64 steps to add some variation. to you know copy and paste it and we can add some variation on the second part all right cool and then lastly it's going to be that 808 So the first thing is to go ahead and find the key and then literally that first note in your melody that's going to be like a good place to start so you can sound it out ding ding so we know that's e now i can take it that octave lower or whatever i can know i can play that one note After you lay it down, just go ahead and quantize it. You can right click it and do force legato to take everything to the very end of the next note. And then this is where the magic can happen. You can pretty much come in here and take these and, and take uh, use shift option up to do um, an octave up or down, or just hold down op um, option to take it down semitones or up semitones just doing that with the up or down arrow
quick little tip is you can come over here, especially if you put it in the quick sampler and go to where it says pitch down here and turn up the glide. And then when your uh, when your 808 is going up or down, it will be a little bit smoother. So anyway, y'all, that's going to be today's tutorial. Appreciate y'all watching all the way to the end. Make sure you get subscribed to the channel, man, because we're coming back to back with bangers. Also, go ahead and visit our website, beatmakingbasics.com. Don't sleep on the website, man. We got full video courses, so you don't have to jump around on the channel or jump around on different social media sites to find the information you need. We also have loop packs and drum packs royalty free get the drums you need get the sounds you need you know what i'm saying and then we also have templates templates from getting your mixes better i used to struggle heavily with mixing my beats and you know these templates i created them specifically for beginners and people who have struggles mixing you know what i'm saying it was just it had the right plugins on there and even had some of the light right levels and everything like that it's real simple just get those plugins uh not plugins but get those templates get those uh courses and kids man it's gonna help you out um, and then also click in the description and in the uh, comment section, you're going to see some things pinned up there. I do have some of my favorite plugins from Waves. You can go and click on those and, and try those out if you want. And uh, we also have our channel perks. So what channel perks is, is basically you watch um, videos here on YouTube for free. But if you want to get some exclusive stuff and you don't necessarily want to have to go to my website and pay um, you can pay a super, super low price to get uh, monthly, like as low as three to five bucks. And you can get access to um, exclusive videos that not everybody else has access to. So check out the channel perks. Just click in the description and the links to below and you see all that stuff there. OK, again, if you want some stuff, you don't want to have to go to the website. That's cool. Join the channel perks. You'll get some um, goodies and some bonuses that way, too. OK. So something for everybody, no matter if you have money or you don't, you got some free stuff by subscribing to the channel. We got channel perks. If you don't have a whole lot of money to go to the website, and then we, if you if you want to invest in yourself, you can go to the website. But anyway, y'all, thanks for watching, and we're out.